Hey everybody, what is happening? Joe for the Joe Wentz Project TV right here on YouTube. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. I thought uh, on this video, man, I would go over the equipment that I use. Uh, man, I get questions a lot about what am I running through? Uh, how am I getting my sound? What this and that, this and that. So it doesn't bother me to share that with y'all at all. It, it's not a big deal. you know. So uh, the first thing, uh, we're looking at the uh, Boss Katana 100 watt head. Um, I've had this for a couple of years now. This is what I use when I want to, uh, uh, you know, warm up. Uh, come in the room here, uh, plug the cable up to the katana head, man. Warm up, go through the PV412 cabinet. Uh, so this is a great uh, amp, man. I love it. It's uh, it's come down quite a bit. I want to say when I got it, or my wife got it for me, I want to say it was like $400. Uh, but that was a couple years ago. I think now they have like a, a Mach 2 or something of this. But anyway, this is the head that I use right here, the original Boss Katana. I really enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to put links in the description of all these things. So if you want to uh, check the links later or something, you want to look at the thing, the, the equipment that I use, man, it, it'll take you right here. I use AMS. So all these links will be for American Musical Supply because that's who I do business with. And uh, you can make payments, man. You don't have to pay up front at one time like you would on like Amazon or Sweetwater or some of these others. So AMS for me. So anyway, that's the Boss Katana head. Let's go on to the next thing. Stand by. All right, man. Now we come to the interface that I use. And wow, this is a killer deal, man. It, it wasn't like this when I got mine. Uh, uh, the... The uh, PreSonus AudioBox USB 96 Studio Bundle. I mean, check this out, man. You get the cables, you get the USB plug, you get the mic, you get a set of headphones, and the Studio One 3 uh, software. Man, that's great. That is awesome. Um, when I got mine, it was just the interface, and uh, that's it. Interface, and that, that was it. I, yeah, it didn't come with anything else. And, uh, uh, I had to get online to download the software and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, this is a killer deal. So this is the interface that I use uh, when I'm recording direct. Um, this is awesome. This is absolutely fantastic for people who are uh, sticking their foot in that pool, man, of, of production and stuff like that. It's uh, the only interface I've ever had, and I'm still I'm still learning with it today, you know. But I'm telling you, man far as running direct and everything uh, it's great but let me show you the other half of what I use to help run direct that uh, is essential for my setup Hang tight. so here we go man the other half of the uh, recording arsenal that is uh, very very important the zoom q8 handy video recorder man this is worth every cent I can't tell you how important this is for me for my setup as far as going direct uh, let me see here if we can get a couple of these pictures now right here look you see that there's two inputs on the back that's that's the whole thing right there you can input one on the top input two uh, and that when I come out of my interface left and right that's what I go into top and then bottom and uh, I want to say let me see if I can look at this. Now, if you see right here, just look at my right here. Oh, okay, we got this zoom up window. See those two knobs? Those are your, those are your uh, level inputs, and I like to have mine on uh, three, top and bottom. Uh, you can see where it says L and R at the top. That's for uh, if you want to use the onboard mic, uh, which, you know, I guess if you want to do that, you can. Uh, but one and two, that's for your input one and two. So you want to be sure those are on and the L and R, those are off. But I can't tell you, I can't stress enough how important this camera is and how well it does. I was really, really shocked. Uh, so yeah, the Zoom Q8 handy video recorder, man. If you don't have one, get it. All right, and far as the, uh, the tones and the brains of the old outfit, far as getting the different uh, effects or whatever you want to say you know this is it right here I mean I've told people this plenty of times I don't I don't know uh, people might think yeah right right but this is this is the truth man the zoom g1x4 multi effects guitar processor it's $99.99 $100 uh, this does have the expression pedal which uh, if I would have known 
better, I wouldn't have got the one with the expression. So I think if you get the the uh, processor without the expression pedal, I think it's $89, I believe. But I'm showing you what I have. So this is this is what I have. Um, that expression pedal, you can only use it when you actually have uh, a wah effect uh, up in here. You see these different effects as gold drive and all this other, you know what I mean? And you can move these around too. You can put them in different order or whatever. But if you had a wah effect in there, then you could use you could use the uh, expression pedal. Um, but that was the only kind of downfall. I was like, oh, so I thought you could just use it any time and just click it on or something. But that's not how it works. But that's fine. I use a uh, well, I have two wah pedals. I use the Vox wah and I use the EVH wah. Okay, uh, those are the two Y's I, I use. I go back and forth. Uh, but anyway, as far as my effects processor goes, this is it right here. I also have a Yamaha THR10X, and I, I looked it up on here, and they don't have it available, I, or it's not in stock, so I couldn't pull that up. But I also do have the Yamaha THR10X, but I haven't used it in quite a while since I got this Zoom. This is all I use right here. I mean, I'm serious. This, this is... Uh, battery powered. I got it sitting on uh, on my pedal board along with the other pedals and man So what I'll do is I'll take a picture of my pedal board instead of going through each Thing individually. I'll take a picture of my pedal board and, and uh, put it up here and uh, you can see what that looks like um, But yeah, let's see here. I think that's about about it for for that um but this, I've always loved Zoom products. I mean, I really have. So you can't go wrong with this little unit. Can't go wrong at all. Hang on. Okay, here's another piece of gear that is essential to my setup. Man, I I love this pedal. This is my delay pedal right here. It's the Echoplex. Um, and I'm telling you, man, if you want that early Van Halen delay, like off the first album, and this, this is it. And you can do the cathedral thing too, you know. But this pedal here is it is worth every red cent, man. I'm telling you, I love this pedal. I was like, holy crap, man. I've always heard a lot of talk about this pedal, but uh yeah. This pedal is fantastic. And I have all three knobs set at about uh uh I'd say about ten o'clock. Yeah, I'm looking at it now, about about ten o'clock. Uh, 10 11 o'clock something like that and um that gives that perfect uh delay that i love and uh man but yeah if you want a great delay pedal god almighty this is it right here i can't speak highly enough about this pedal fantastic fantastic okay man you can't complete this thing without the guitar this is the guitar i play a lot it's an evh wolfgang standard this is the uh, tri-fade. This is the exact same one that I have. Uh, and wow, I, I cannot believe how great this standard is as far as the quality. It's amazing. Um, I'm under the impression now that the Wolfgangs that come out uh, this year, uh, a bunch of them had, have uh, roasted maple necks, I believe. So that's that's killer. But this is, this is what I got right here, man. So for 500 bucks, uh, you just can't you can't beat this man this guitar is amazing I was totally shocked now I did take the uh, the uh, guitar strap uh, buttons off whatever they're called I took those off and put the uh, the eye hooks and the, the dog clasps and all that stuff I put that on there just to kind of you know deck it out just a little you know I've never done that with any other uh, my EVH guitars but I did on this one and uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, so it's great, man. This is a fantastic guitar, uh, and I haven't done nothing to it, man. I don't, I don't upgrade none of my guitars or nothing. Now there have, there's been a few, uh, a couple guitars that I replaced the tuners on. I put uh, my uh, Jimi Hendrix Fender Strat. It had vintage uh, style tuners, and I didn't like those. So I went to Guitar Center and spent like seventy. What was it? Seventy-five dollars for some Fender locking tuners, and I had to uh, drill the holes at the top of, up there because it was, you know, they didn't match up. I was like, oh god! So I had to drill holes. Anyway, got them all set up, everything, 
and then, so I upgraded the tuners on that and I put some uh, tuners on another fender strap and uh, but that's about it man I mean far as uh, pickups and Floyd Rose systems and stuff like that I don't I don't mess with none of that I just leave it like it is and um, mainly because I'm not very skilled at that <laughs> so I just play my stuff stock and it's great man very happy with this guitar uh, while I have this up here I'm just going to throw a picture of my pedal board up here and I'm gonna go over these pedals real quick uh, of course uh, you're looking at the the uh, EVH phase 90 right here on the bottom right and then we're going to the uh, Ibanez TS9 tube screamer and from uh, out of that we go back up top to the uh, blues driver BD2 and then next to that is an EP booster by exotic next to that is an MXR Dynacomp uh, next to that is the uh, electro harmonics silencer uh, noise gate uh, and coming out of that is when I, I come into so those pedals are in front of the zoom G1x4 as you see on the bottom left and then coming out of the zoom is the uh, echoplex delay and uh, and I have another small pedal board that has like some more coarse pedal or uh, delay reverb pedals uh, a mimic pedal you know that's just I don't use that a lot but this is pretty much it the board I use right here this is it and very very happy with this setup so there you go that's my setup for how I record direct and everything and just you know of course the green screen um, that's a whole nother thing altogether uh, what I could tell you with that is just look up some YouTube videos and try to understand how to do that I mean it all depends on your video editing software as well um, I use Mavavi if that's how you pronounce it and uh, so it works pretty good I'm happy with it you know and and it's just me I'm just a, a one-man band kind of deal so I, I play with backing tracks because that's that's my way of, uh, of uh, feeling like I'm playing with an actual band uh, because when you have a these professional backing tracks too they're not something that some dude uh, some guys making in his garage and you hear all this background noise of traffic going down the street and the dogs barking these are professionally recorded backing tracks and it, it is at karaokeversion.com that's where I get my backing tracks a lot of people ask me that too like, man where do you get those backing tracks that's where I get them yes you pay for them I think uh, they're $1.99 and so you know but once you buy them I mean they're yours and you can download whatever version you want of course I download the version that has everything but guitar the guitar is missing so I'm playing the guitar but playing with backing tracks for me uh, is great it's going to help you stay in time it's going to help you be a better guitar player it's going to you will improve on all kind of different facets of, of your playing I'm telling you man um, it's really it's really a, a great deal is I love it Okay, with that being said, man, uh, I'm going to leave you with a couple of songs here. Um, also, I'm going to leave you with another clip of, of the difference between me playing with uh, my smartphone coming out of the uh, Boss Katana head out of the 412 cabinet here, and then that, and then going direct. What's the difference? You know, how is there that much of a difference? I'll let you be the judge of that. Hopefully, you're watching this video. Um, while having earbuds in so you can really get the full uh, audio experience you know if you're listening just on a little speaker with your smartphone or a tablet it's not going to do it justice you know but uh, earbuds or if you have your stuff hooked up to some kind of stereo setup that would be awesome you know you would you'd really hear the difference that way too but anyway hope you enjoyed this man let's go on to the next uh, part of the video and then we'll leave you with a couple of songs and That'll be it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now you know the gear that I use. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. All right, if we want to take the easy route, man, we can just go through this katana head right here and come out the, uh, the bottom half, which it's not in the frame of my 412 cabinet. This is the easy way to set something up to play with your phone if you want to. It's okay, but 
you know, you, the sound quality is not quite going to be there. <laughs> That's okay, but why do this when you can do this? It's black and white, baby. I'm just looking. 